their right mind doesn't love cycling. It's fun, great for your spirit and body, environmentally friendly, and gets you out and about in the fresh air. In short, it's bloody great. Mind you, I don't mind admitting that I also have times when it drives me nuts and frustrates the hell out of me. Now I'm sure we all have moments like this. Life is indeed beautiful when you're riding through a stunning vista on a sunny day, getting Strava PR after PR, and you're just about to stop at your favorite cafe for a sticky bun and a cup of tea. But it could so easily be a very different story, especially when things aren't going quite to plan or when, heavens forbid, they start to get a little bit tricky. One of my personal bet noirs is riding into a headwind. Now it's all fine and dandy when it's behind you and you're being pushed along, but then you make a turn and it's like riding in treacle. No matter how hard you try, you still feel like you're getting nowhere, and even changing down to a lower gear doesn't seem to help at all. The old school way of dealing with the wind was to ride into it on the outward leg when you're fresh, and then use the tailwind to give yourself a bit of a push on the way home. The trouble with that is that Mother Nature doesn't always play ball. I've often tried this method only to find that the wind direction changes the very moment I turn for home, so I've had a headwind on the way out and on the way back. It's as if she knows. Very frustrating. And it's surprising how difficult it can be, sometimes when the wind doesn't even appear to be that strong. Where I live on the south coast of the UK, we nearly always have a fairly strong southwesterly blowing up from the channel. Now this is probably great for all those nautical types on their sailboats out in the Solent, but not quite so much fun for us cyclists. By right, we should also be some kind of cycling superheroes, because the last landfall for this wind before it hits us is a big nuclear power plant only 70 miles away in France, so it's probably radioactive too. I'm still waiting for my superpowers to develop, but when they do come, rest assured that I will only be using them for pure evil. Whoa. Along with headwinds, I'm not overly enchanted with riding in the rain. Now, you would be thinking that being British, I should be used to it. But contrary to the national cliche, the weather here in the UK is not always quite as bad as some would lead you to believe. Yes, it can be unpredictable. And yes, we can have more than our fair share of the wet stuff. But recently, we've also had some amazingly sunny and warm weather. Now, of course, this comes with its own set of problems as well, but I would always take the heat over the rain any day. Riding in the wet, particularly if it's cold as well, can be without doubt one of the most miserable and demoralizing times you can ever have on a bike. Having said that though, we've all been there, caught out by the rain mid-ride. When you find yourself in this situation, you have two choices. Either grit your teeth and get on with it, or get yourself into the nearest cafe and hope that it's just a passing shower. Of course, wearing the right clothing can make all the difference, but the best waterproof jacket, even if it's a swanky raffle one, won't make riding 70 kilometers in torrential rain a pleasurable experience by any stretch of the imagination. When it is wet and cold and windy outside, it's so easy to give riding a bit of a miss. Now, you can only do this for so long, a few days at most if you're lucky, before you start to lose a significant amount of your fitness. I personally am on a constant battle to maintain the modest level of fitness that I have. Not only do I have to contend with the weather, but I also have many times where my day job commitments mean that I frequently spend extended periods of time away from home. Taking a couple of days off the bike is sometimes unavoidable, so it's doubly frustrating when you finally do get back out on the road, 
only to find that you aren't as fast or able to ride as far as you were a few days earlier. Thankfully, most times the loss is only minor and you're back to normal after a few extra efforts, but there might be times when your fitness goes right back to square one and you have to start all over again. Needless to say, this can be very frustrating and time consuming. At the risk of sounding like a miserable git, certain people also drive me nuts. When I ride my bike, I do my best to treat all other road users with courtesy and respect, and for the most part, this is reciprocated. Over the last few years, I've even noticed a rise in motorists giving me plenty of space or waiting until it's safe before overtaking, but there are still one or two that drive like they own the road or have no regard for anyone's safety. For example, when riding on my local single track lanes, I'm occasionally passed by motorists driving, well, let's just say a particular type of vehicle, who will deliberately rev the engine loudly as they pass. Now, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if these are also the same people who believe that cyclists shouldn't be on the road because they don't pay the so-called road tax. In my mind, these people don't deserve any respect. If I had my way, they would be locked up in a room with the same Celine Dion song playing at full volume 24 hours a day. But just maybe there wouldn't be quite so many of these frustrated motorists if some people on two wheels, I'm not even going to call them cyclists, also started to obey the rules of the road. I personally have seen some absolutely shocking behaviour that's made me angry, frustrated and sad. So what must the mostly good people behind the wheels of their cars think? Thankfully though, the reality is that for those of us who ride a bike, cycling plays a very positive part in our lives. I'm guessing that most of us do it simply because we enjoy it and it makes us feel good. The fact that it is also good for us is a bonus. At the end of the day, there are far more things to like about it than not, and I plan on riding my bike for as many years as I can. Thanks for watching.